official watches. Ultimate Timekeepers of UCMMA. I'm the Gypsy Queen, Lisa, Lights Out McCullum, representing Team Mortlock, Team Titan, and Team Gypsy. My name's Stacey Hayes, I'm 30 years old. I'm from Essex, and I'm from Team Shark. I've trained hard, there's been blood, there's been sweat, and there's been tears. But nothing's gonna stop me from getting the win again over Stacey Hayes. To prepare for this fight, I've had wrestling, Muay Thai, strength and conditioning, boxing, been training six days a week, three times a day, getting ready for this fight. Listen, I have nothing to say to you, Stacey. Let me just say, history will repeat itself. But history will be made. I'll walk out with the UCMA first women's title. Lisa, I've been waiting three years for this bout against you. I'm fed up of hearing all the shit that you keep talking. And now I'm gonna finish you tonight. Tonight, you're gonna feel the wrath, the wrath of me. Team Shark's coming for you. You're nothing to me. You go to the way in when you're wrong, when you might get weighed in. Turn out, stand in the middle of the cage and say, No, I ain't playing. Well, this is showtime. I hear the crowd scream, hear the bell ring. Yeah, this is my time. You know it's on now. It's on now. They're gonna tear up. So I come singing, I'm a warrior, warrior. scheduled for three rounds of mixed martial arts fighting and is for the UC MMA Women's Middleweight Championship. Sponsored by JY Nutrition, also sponsored by Iron Gym. And now introducing your first fighter, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist with a record of one win, one loss, and one draw. She stands five feet eight inches tall. She weighed in at 84.3 kilograms. Fighting out of Team Shark, make some noise for Stacy, the Hammer Hayes. And her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is an undefeated mixed martial artist with a record of two wins, no losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall. She weighed in 83.1 kilograms. Fighting out of Team Titan, Team Morlock, and Team Gypsy, here is Lisa. Lights out, McCollum! And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Dan Mubahedi. Well, I've got to say, in the atmosphere in here, just rose tenfold as these two ladies entered the cage. You know what, there's, down. there's more interest for these two girls than I think than any fight on this car right now. But let's not forget, Rob, this is UC MMA history. This is the first ever female MMA title fight. And it's between these two girls, Stacey Hayes 
in the long pants and Lisa McCallum in the flashy dress. <laughs> let's go girls, let's see what you're made of. So here we go, we're underway. First with a low kick is Lisa. Hands up, chin down. Stacey Hayes lands a couple. Yeah, Stacey getting confident now. Lisa goes for the takedown. Hayes locks up tight. You can see she's looking to find somewhere to fire a shot. Stacey trying to work for the underhooks. Lisa doing really well, keeping up against the cage. Nice reversal there. And like we said in the earlier fights, this takes a lot of energy, this kind of work. Cage control. Lisa works, she gets a double unhook, so nice work by Stacey getting one under. They both look to turn out. Yeah, they've both got good balance right now, neither are giving in. Because it could be game over if one of them goes to the back. Good knee to the inside there. From Lisa. Nice knee there by Lisa. Oh, big, big shot there. Well, Lisa keeping Stacey up against the cage, throwing the knees. Not really causing any damage. I mean, this is a strong, heavy pace. They said there was no love lost between these two guys. Stacey said she's sick of Lisa running in her mouth. It's about time to shut it up. So there is a little bit of a grudge match here, Rob. And Lisa happy to just fire away those knees into the fire. Well, it's working, it's scoring points. Although there's no big damage being caused, it's actually scoring points in the eyes of the judges. And it will take its toll. Well, Lisa needs to be careful because she's having a little bit of a ward with malfunction. Her top keeps coming loose. She has to keep stopping to pull her bra top up, which is something you don't need to concentrate on in a fight. There she does it again. Oh, nice left jab straight to the jaw of Lisa. Stacy now coming into her own. Stacy getting the better yeah, of the she, upright. She doesn't, she doesn't want to put her back against the cage right now, Stacy. Lisa's strong when she's there. Oh, she gets the first takedown. In the side control. Looking to take the arm now. Stacey A is looking to yeah, fight she's back work, to her she's feet. She's working the underhook, but she's taking punishment along the way. Lisa able to fire several shots unanswered there. Oh, Stacey gets back to her knees. A little bit better position for her. But Lisa pummeling away. She takes the back. Great work from both girls. Lisa firing and firing away. Stacey looking to find a way back to her feet. But trapped at the moment. The shots are coming in. There's no real power on them, but it's enough to make Stacey think twice about what she has to do to escape. The crowd are going crazy. How much longer is in the round, Ian? Stacey Hayes eating shots and they call it. Referee Dam of Ahidi steps in. Well, Stacey, she I could live through there. She looked at Lisa and went, you're too heavy, you're too heavy. What she meant was she could move her from on top. But that's the name of the game. There's a weight class. You're both in the same weight class. 
Lisa managed to get on top. She dominated. Stacey couldn't move her. So Lisa takes the first ever Juicy MMA female title. That's right. She gets to wear that middleweight strap. Great work, Ian. Round of applause. Great girl fight. Excellent. Wow. How are you, bro? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Our referee, Dan Movahedi, calls a stop to this contest. Four minutes, 29 seconds. In the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Lisa Lights and McCollum. And let's hear for her opponent, Stacy the Hammer Hayes. Okay, first up, I'm here with the runner up. <laughs> do you know what? Two girls really proved that they can do it in the cage as well as the men, really put it to the test. I want both these girls back in February, Lisa and Stacey, both fighting different guys, uh, different, different women, different women. I know you could fight, guys. But Stacey, a great fight again. Do you want to say thanks to some of your trainers? Uh, do you know what? Thanks, Lisa. She's fucking heavy. Once I felt on that, I couldn't handle that weight. It's too heavy. Um, thanks, Mark Potter. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, James, Mark Smith. But you know what? Credit where credit's due. All bad blood's gone. She deserves it. That's what I'm talking about. All bad blood. She deserves it. No kissing. I want you girls upstairs at the after party having it large. Well done, girl. Ah, oh, Stacey Hayes, Lisa Lights at CJ, take it away. Grudge match or no grudge match, that's a fight that everyone's been wanting to see fair and square. A few months down the line, it's been tension building, but you guys ended it in the cage and the better girl won tonight. There's some guys that wouldn't even dream of stepping in the cage and you girls fought with your heart. So I just want to hear it from your side. How are you feeling after that win? Wow. Well, what everything I've been through, my training camp, this, this was just the cherry on top, to be honest. I had five months with my great manager, Alan Mortlock. I'm over at Team Titan with Mickey Pappas. Oh, I'm just amazed. My devastating striking coach, Dave Noble. My dad is always there. Mom, Mom, I love you, Mom. Archie, Tom, baby Kevin, everybody who's come out and see me. Oh, 